Hey guys, my name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we'll be talking about some of the plants that are doing pretty well in my care so far and essentially ones that you haven't seen in the past two years since it's been a hot minute since I made a video. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm a little bit more up to date. I wouldn't say I'm really all that active still, but for the most part I post, I would say like a couple times a month. <laughs> Not great, it's not great. But yeah, if you guys wanna know more about why I kind of took a two year break from YouTube, uh, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll try to make a separate video kind of addressing that. Uh, but for now, we'll just be talking about today's plants. And yeah, let's just jump right into today's video. Okay, so let's get started. I have six plants here. No, I have five plants that I wanna show you guys today. And these plants are essentially ones that are number one, still alive. <laughs> Some of them did not make it through this period of time from the last time you guys saw me and today. But the ones that I'm showing you today are, like I said, one alive. And number two, they have grown some new leaves. They're thriving. They've been doing well despite all the neglect. <laughs> and we'll kick it off with my, one of my favorites, which you guys obviously know, and it is the Hoya obovada. Look how massive it's gotten. Um, I'll put a before photo of how it used to look like over here, and yeah, it's um honestly exploded in growth. I have not put it on a trellis, it's just kind of hanging off the pot, but it's still doing really, really well, and what I discovered with this plant is it actually does better when it's in a lower light setting. So I try not to have it under my grow lights, kind of just in a north facing window at the top of the shelf and doing great. It keeps the leaves nice and dark and luscious and shiny. I even gave it a little bit of a bath today so that it looks extra not dusty <laughs> and crusty and just all the things are cleaned off of it. So it's looking great. And yeah, look at how many leaves there are now. It's very splashy, it's very dark, and just looks absolutely stunning. Really, really love this plant and I'm happy that it's doing great. I'm, I'm sensing a trend here. It's gonna be all Hoyas. <laughs> Didn't realize that until I started picking them up, but the Hoyas are the ones that are doing really good despite all the neglect that it has endured over these past few years. Number two is this beautiful Hoya Croniana Silver. Um, could be a Lacunosa, could be a Croniana. I really don't care at this point, but it is a very silvery Hoya and paired so well with this beautiful pig planter. Look how cute. These pots that I'm showing you guys today are also available on my Etsy shop. Still doing my pottery. It's coming out a little bit more slowly than usual. Look how cute it is and so many leaves. I think there's a few plants in here. I'm not really too sure. It's been a while since I got this plant. Honestly, it's been many years and um, it hasn't died. It hasn't had any root rot. It just pushes out leaves when it wants and whenever it feels like it. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. I'm just happy that it's very bushy. It's not all like scraggly looking and just very cute. So yes, that one is the Hoya Croniana slash Lacunosa Silver. Next one on the list is um, this one, which is a Hoya Viola. I wouldn't say this one's thriving, but there is a difference to how it looks now compared to how it looked before. Um, number one thing that I noticed is that it's looking a little sunburnt, so a little bit tinged with red. <laughs> slash brown slash orange but a, li a little sunburn it's probably just under my girl it's a little bit too long and um too lazy to really move it so that is where it's home it's gonna be number two is it did grow some leaves so i guess it's not doing too poorly and it's flowered a few times too although i hate when this one flowers because it number one doesn't smell good and number two it leaves like the sticky like sap that comes out of the the peduncle and the flowers and it's just a mess to clean up and it always just leaves so many stains on my shelf. Otherwise, I try to just like not encourage it to flower, if that makes sense. But the leaves are really pretty, very veiny, very um, just distinct in its look. Doing good. And um, I'd be happier if it was not sunburnt, but it is what it is. 
Next up, we have one of my favorites. Honestly, these are all like top, top, like 10 plants, I would say, in my collection. Um, but yes, next up we have this beautiful Hoya. It is the Hoya AH074 Silver, something like that. I can't really remember the name, but it is looking really, really nice. Look at how many leaves it has compared to how it looked before. But like the leaves are so sturdy. This guy barely, there's a hole at the bottom of this one and it's just, casually leaking water. As I was saying, this plant has very, very sturdy leaves and I find with the sturdy leaves, it doesn't mm, require as much water. It can really survive off the minimal amount of watering that I do, which is probably once every like week, two week and a half. It's it's not good. It's not good to be, to be honest. I just too busy, number one. And number two, I'm just too lazy. But this one's doing great despite all the things. And yeah, I gave this one also a little bit of a shower today, wiped off its leaves, so it's looking extra, extra cute. Um, I'm just gonna put this down because it keeps leaking water and I guess the pond substrate that this plant is in is just, just leaking all over the place. <laughs> but I wanted to pair it off with these cute little planters to show, you know, some of the pieces that I've made and are available on my Etsy shop. Last but not least is my Hoya Hooch Kelliana Variegata. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's been a really long time since I've said these plant names out loud because, you know, I haven't been filming YouTube videos, <laughs> but now that I am, it's like these names are coming back to me. And yeah, this one is quite the long tongue twister. So it is the Hoochkeliana Vergata, I hope. And look at its beautiful leaves. This one really grew, like it's so long now. I mean, if you really think about how it's been two years <laughs> since the last photo of this little nub that I had, it definitely grew a lot, but two years is a long time. And now look at this. I find with this Hoya, I really like it kind of just trailing and spilling over the pot as opposed to just trellising up. Some Hoyas look better trellised up. Like honestly, none of these, none of the ones I showed you look good trellised up, but other ones that I would say look good trellis up is um, my Hoya fungi looks good in a trellis. My Hoya, uh, this, I'm just gonna put up a picture, <laughs> I forgot the name. But yeah, some of the um, other Hoyas look better like that, but these trailing ones are just so cute, so dainty. These leaves are a little bit more thin, so you know, sometimes this throws a fit when I forget to water it, but for the most part, I think it's doing okay. And look at this cute, adorable little cat planter. There's four different colored cats because I'm still obsessed with cats. That's not gonna change. And you know, if you guys wanna see more of my cats, also comment down below. <laughs> and I'll make sure Bobo or Piggy, my two cats, might make it into the video. But yeah, those are the five plants that I wanted to show you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and comment down below if you have a plant that's really, really been doing well for you for the past couple years or however much time you've had them for but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully not with another two years in between bye